So uh, you'll need to push each one in the book, and then I'll have to take okay. each thing if you want. In the back of the, in the, back of the uh, documentary are all these yeah. uh, standard petitions. So you want me to stay in your room next? Yep. Okay. Yeah, because we don't want to look for all the
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good afternoon, everybody. Let's give a St. Martha's welcome to Deacon John Barrett. Trenton, George Gore, driving, driving, driving. Thanks be to God. A lot of prayer, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of time. Took extra classes, and now he is, he is here with us. Thanks be to God. He'll break open the word. And so it, it's congratulations. Welcome, welcome as a deacon to our parish. And happy Father's Day to everybody. Happy Father's Day, happy Father's Day if that applies. You know, uh, one of the first things that deacons do at the Mass is they ask us to call to mind our sins, which sometimes you might call to mind if your mom says, wait till your father gets home. <laughs> So let's turn it over to the deacon and getting us ready uh, to celebrate this Mass. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. For his mercy as we say, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. And this Mass is a little different. We are filming this Mass live, so uh, just give me a moment now and then uh, just to move uh, this little tablet. Thank you, Dennis. And for people watching at home, I hope you don't get carsick. say I'm home. I'm glad to see everybody. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me. Like a mighty champion, my persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's children, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, your great love and I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God, 
In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous, bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy, turn toward me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and whatever moves in them. Lord, the reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus, death came to all men inasmuch as all sin. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern of the trespass of Adam who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression, for if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you. The spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. And what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs on your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whomever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. It seems to me that the last five years have kind of snuck up on me this day that I would be proclaiming the word of the Lord and being able to speak to you as a deacon. It is an amazing journey for the last five years. And I have to thank my family and Uncle Clem, who stood by me during this time. It wasn't easy. But more importantly, the family of you, the, the, the parish community of St. Martha's, in my good days and bad days of getting through this, you were who I did this for. And Deacons, for me, have always had a, a very meaningful, uh, a very big meaning in my life. Um, we've had, when I started, uh, when we got married here uh, over the last few years, we got married here 25 years ago last St. Patrick's Day. And it was a great celebration. And one of the first deacons we met was Deacon Jack Kim. I'm sorry, Deacon Jack Haney. I always get the Jacks mixed up. Deacon Jack actually prepared us for our wedding. And it was the first person who said to us in the practice, if you remember, don't show up drunk because we're not getting you married, okay? <laughs> no matter how much you want to do on the way. And he was, he was a great man, a great servant to this parish. And of course, I'd be remiss in not remembering our past deacon, Jack, Jack Kimley. He was kind of the size of me, and I remember walking down as a lector. It was like the, we were kind of, we were kind of the, uh, the football offensive line. I remember uh, it was great, and of course, uh, 
Um, but, and of course, we of course have uh, Deacon Fran, uh, who's our current uh, deacon, and I get to join with him, and he's been a great role model for me. Um, but there's one deacon um, who means a lot to me, and that's Deacon Ted Cox. And we lost Deacon Ted a few years ago, it seems like yesterday. Um, when he was suffering in silence at times, he came to Mass. Um, I remember one time he, he fell here, uh, and I thought he was having a, a medical episode. And it, it was that moment that I realized that we needed to get involved. And, uh, and that was the moment that I realized that we were losing too many deacons here. And um, I dedicated the last five years to Deacon Ted because, um, in fact, I'm wearing his robe, his owl, uh, and I've always worn it uh, since he passed because he's with us. And of course, Gina, my heart goes out to you. And, and I know Deacon Ted's sitting right next to you right now uh, at this moment. Um, when I was a boy, uh, I remember Deacon Ted Schweitzer. He was a deacon in my fifth grade class. He taught me science. A great guy. Um, but there was one deacon who really kind of started my service at the church, and that was Deacon Howard Dalton. Um, my dad had taught me how to ride a bike, and I'm sure maybe, you know, Fathers taught us how to ride bikes. But while I was riding a bike in La Valette, outside of St. Bonaventure, now St. Pio, Deacon Howard, Deacon Dalton as we know him, he jumped out in front of my bicycle in a full owl and stopped me. And it was kind of a weird moment. Of course, I was happy not to drive him over with the bike, but uh, he said to me, do you want to be an altar server? Now, he didn't know me from anybody. I was a kid from New York who vacationed in La Valette every summer. But, but Deacon Ted, I mean, I'm Deacon uh, uh, Dalton, he stopped me from what I was doing, which was probably riding to the beach. And uh, I was excited because up in New York, going to St. Sebastian's Grammar School, you could only be an altar server in sixth grade, sixth, seventh, and eighth, and then you graduated. And this was an opportunity to serve the church a year early. So of course, I took it. And I was, in, I used to come down on weekends and, and serve all three masses with all their altar servers. And, it was a great time and a great inner peace. And one of the things that, uh, that Deacon Dalton shared with us was his love for people. He was a father, he was a husband, but he took care of each of us as one of his sons. We used to have hard marble altar and he was one of the deacons uh, who made sure we got a piece of foam to kneel on. I gotta tell you, Father, I don't know how you get through it. I had to kneel down yesterday at the ordination and <laughs> my knees were buckling. It was, it was kind of rough. But, I look at my father who taught me how to ride a bike. I look at Deacon Dalton who jumped in front of my bike to stop me and ask me for if I wanted to get into service. And about six years ago, um, Deacon, uh, or Deacons, uh, jumped in front of me and said, they need you. What are you talking about? He said, they're opening up the class of the Deacons and you need to apply. And my wife and I went for the interview and we walked out of there saying, I don't think they want us. They were interrogating us. <laughs> I mean, yeah. they, right. So in fact, one of the, to my left, which I'm very pleased to uh, participate with you because we've done Stations of the Cross and other things. Yeah. Um, but Bob Golden, um, if you give him a round of applause, he's two years behind us. He's next. He continues to stand by the crazy man. I know. He's, I know a, that night. he's a good man. But one of the things that, that stuck out to me was a, a friend of mine, um, of course, viewing at home today because he couldn't be here. Joe said to me on a long day of work, he said, why are you doing this? Why are you becoming a deacon? And the first reading we heard today speaks volumes as to why you have to follow the call of God. It all speaks about how people are waiting. As Jeremiah said, you know, people are waiting for me to stumble. People are waiting for me to fail so they can come over and, and, and get vengeance on them. But it's truly, as Jeremiah says, God's power to set the road, the road straight to, to make sure that with Jeremiah's faith in God, that his attackers would not prevail. In the gospel today, the first line, Jesus says to the 12 disciples, fear no one. How many times did your father or mother turn to you and say, fear no one? 
fear not falling off that bike. Learn how to ride the bike. That's why I impart to you. And for those members of our community, as we grow in the ranks and grow as disciples of Christ, I'm going to be jumping in front of your bikes, so don't ride them here. <laughs> because ultimately, it is for us to pass on our faith. It is for us to stand up and be leaders, to help out Father Dave on this great Father's Day, and to stand up and be counted, because that's what Jesus is asking us to do. So for that, God bless you. Thank you so much for being here and sharing this special moment. And I promise my homilies will get much better. Thank you so much. <laughs> Boy, I, I like that, that you uh, served three masses and got wedding couples ready. Or, or rather, that rather, you served three masses and the deacon got you guys ready for marriage. That's pretty good because you'll be serving three masses. Telling wedding couples don't arrive drunk, you'll be doing all that. Great to have you. When you have a running back that's really good, you hand him the ball. All right, so you're going to get the ball off. Let's stand and profess what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. All things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord. Let's raise our prayers to Almighty God and ask Him to turn towards His people. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her, let us pray to the Lord. For the people of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them, let us pray to the Lord. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them from relief, let us pray to the Lord. For ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself, let us pray to the Lord. For our fathers, who have given us life and love, that we may show them respect and love, we pray to the Lord. For fathers who have lost a child through death, that their faith may give them hope and their family and friends support and console them, we pray to the Lord. For fathers who have died, that God may bring them into the joy of his kingdom, we pray to the Lord. We pray for uh, everyone who was involved in Deacon John's formation. Uh, we pray especially for all the deacons, Deacon Dalton, uh, Deacon Jack, uh, Deacon Jack, Deacon Fran, Deacon Ted, and all those who came into his life, especially his parents. We pray for Sister Sharon also who brought the word of God to him, we pray for his wife, his first vocation. For all of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, turn toward us and hear the prayers you inspire us to ask. We ask them at this Mass, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
and so we have two chalices. So we're not giving out the chalice to the people right now. Uh, and John's chalice has to be separate than mine with the lid, so I'm not breathing on it like the host that we give out to you guys are all here covered on the altar. So who's going to drink from the main chalice? Just Father Dave. It's full of wine to be turned into the fresh blood. So this is, it will be a day of much rejoicing. <laughs> Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its actions, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins, and by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praises without end to be acclaimed. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel or be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, St. Martha, St. Stephen, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power of the Lord and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
peace of the Lord be with you always. Please give an expression of your peace to your brother. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Just a couple notes for Holy Communion, uh, since we do have more people joining us uh, every Mass that we have. So Holy Communion, uh, we're going to come to you. You will remain in your pews. You're going to come to the outside edge of your pew, but remain in that pew, because you'll notice the pew in front of you is open. So if we need to, we'll step into that pew to give you communion. You'll put out your hands nice and flat. Remember when you were a kid, you learned how to make communion, Holy Communion. You make a throne for our Lord. But please keep your hands flat. I said this morning, like, you can keep your hands flat. So if you know that song, so you do not. That's okay. But don't curl your hands. When you put the host in your hand, do not curl your fingers. Don't, like, and, and I don't know why would people keep doing that. Please keep your hands flat. Because if your fingers touch Deacon John's fingers or mine or Gina's, we have to come back and re-sanitize our hands before we continue even to someone in your family. So just keep your hands flat. And we're not going to touch your hands. We're just going to touch your, the host to your palm. We will remove our hand. And then you'll receive Holy Communion under your mask and sit down and pray and be in communion with our Lord and all those who are with him. At the end of Mass, you can't just leave right away. We have to leave in an orderly fashion, right? And so um, Mark will take us out. Uh, we're going to leave from the back row to the front. So you guys will, will step out. You have to stay, stay with this guy. He kind of loves you. Right? Uh, and then you guys come to the back to the front, to the back to the front, back to the front. This way we don't, don't all uh, gather up together. In the, in the same airspace. Uh, today will be a little different. We're not really allowed to greet you after Mass, but we're going to do something special today. So one of the, the cool things when you're ordained is you can just bless, right? You can bless holy water. Right? I remember when I was ordained a deacon, uh, I was driving to the party with a friend of mine, and he had a, a bottle of water, and I'm like, you know, I can totally make that holy water right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, can you drink it? Well, some people do, some people don't. Right? And so it's really special to get a first blessing from a deacon or a priest. And so what we'll do today is Deacon John, like so we'll process out, but I'll go for the sacristy. Deacon John will be out front under the overhang. When you guys leave, leave on the far side, so not where he's standing. And just as you pass him, just put your hands like this, and he'll give you a first blessing as a deacon, okay? And then, and then go to your car. This way we're keeping social distance, but we can, God blessing can trans, you know, go across that distance. Cool? Okay, again, so just put your hands flat for Holy Communion uh, when we come to you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only to say the word to my soul.
us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. And right before we do that, we're going to bless the fathers. Uh, so I'd ask, uh, so let's ask the ladies to please be seated. Let's, add, let's bless all the dads. If you're a godfather, a grandfather, a great grandfather, please remain standing. The Lord be with you, men. God, our Father, in your wisdom and love, you made all things. Bless these men, that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll please be seated for just a moment. Uh, just by, and I want to say thank you to everybody who's joining us at home. We can't see how many people are there, but John, can you give them a little blessing at home? God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Is that left hand? Is that right hand? Looks left. Looks left. <laughs> In some countries, they believe that's a curse if they bless you with your left hand. It's just a curse if you're a Viking fan. That's really what it is a curse. Some kind of, we don't believe that. We don't believe that. We don't believe that. Uh, a couple of announcements. So in July, we're going to bring back the uh, 430 Mass. Uh, and our retired priest will start to join us as we move through the month of July. Monsignor Bill uh, and my retired guys, they're all chopping at the bit with false teeth and stuff like that. But they're chopping at the bit to come and join us. So Monsignor Bill, God bless him, is going to take the 730 Mass uh, in July. And then Father Dominic will return with the 430 uh, and I'll overlap with them just to make sure that we know what we're doing because things are a little different now how we do stuff uh, And then halfway through July Father Tony will come in to join us at the 12 o'clock mass And then we'll see about bringing back to 1030 as we move through August uh, We'll see based on a volume and where people's confidence is at and coming back, okay? And, and that's the update right now. Please stand The Lord be with you <laughs> May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
at those cool boots you guys have. Oh, cool. You guys have oh, boots. Are those, those Joey? You're not. You don't wear boots. You have sneakers. Thank you, everybody at home. God bless you guys.